I want to start off by shouting out to some of my best friends. They represent the Bills Mafia. Bills Mafia, what's going on? And, you know, I don't mean that like my typical, yo, what up? What up? How y'all living? This time, it's literal. <laughs> like, I'm literally asking, what the hell is going on in Buffalo? More specifically, what is going on with Stephon Diggs? And what the hell is he so angry about? And why did Sean McDermott run to a microphone yesterday and very publicly hit that little fire with some gasoline? Now, I'm not saying that McDermott is in the wrong here because I don't know exactly what the problem is. I know there's a problem, but I don't know what that problem is. I am saying that his press conference yesterday was pretty surprising because if he had not gone to a podium and said the following, none of this would have mushroomed into the national story that it became. Steph is No, that's pretty clear. You freaking love this guy. You love him like a brother. It just doesn't seem like right now Steph feels as close to you or the rest of the fam as you feel as close to him. But then again, I don't really know. I don't know what he's mad about because he's not saying. I just know it's something. So again, what is it? Josh said it right there. It's not a football thing. Diggs' agent is saying, he's here. It's not a money thing. So again, if it's not a football thing and it's not a money thing, what is going on? According to Josh, maybe it's a communication thing. I want to start off by shouting out to some of my best friends. They represent the Bills Mafia. Bills Mafia, what's going on? And, you know, I don't mean that like my typical, yo, what up? What up? How y'all living? This time, it's literal. <laughs> like, I'm literally asking, what the hell is going on in Buffalo? More specifically, what is going on with Stephon Diggs? And what the hell is he so angry about? And why did Sean McDermott run to a microphone yesterday and very publicly hit that little fire with some gasoline? Now, I'm not saying that McDermott is in the wrong here because I don't know exactly what the problem is. I know there's a problem, but I don't know what that problem is. I am saying that his press conference yesterday was pretty surprising because if he had not gone to a podium and said the following, none of this would have mushroomed into the national story that it became. So, Coach, as long as you respect that everybody has a job to do, I'm sure you will respect what I'm about to say. Kind of hard to just, quote, move on to football questions when you just said that your star receiver and a team captain did not show up to a mandatory practice and that you're, quote, very concerned. No, very concerned. Like, we didn't really have all that many questions to begin with. There weren't that many really pressing questions until you said that. But now we have lots of questions. Suddenly... What we were prepared to ask about, minicamp, feels pretty meaningless by comparison. That was essentially the answer that you would throw out there if you were looking to create the maximum possible drama from whatever the hell is going on with Stephon Diggs. That's not something you say if you want to make it go away, which is pretty surprising since drama typically is not Sean McDermott's M.O. In fact, drama and distraction are not any coach in any sport On any levels, M.O. But that response created drama and distraction. You don't want that. You especially don't want that on the highest level with a team that's got Super Bowl aspirations. So ask me, that was a really curious response by McDermott. Then things got even more bizarre when Steph's agent let it be known that Diggs is in fact in Buffalo and was, in fact, at the facility Monday and then again yesterday morning, which brings us right back to where we are right now, where we started. The hell is going on there? The hell is going on? Why is Steph so pissed? About what? And I'm not blaming him. I'm just asking. Why is he so bent? Is it money? I don't think so. Wouldn't seem to be. He signed that new deal in April 2022. He's set to make Big Jack this season. So it wouldn't seem to be money. Is it football? 
Josh Allen says, it's not that. So if it's not money and it's not football, then what is it? Right? If it's not money and it's not football, what is it? Is it something more sordid than that? Or is it just football? Is it the same thing that Diggs was all pissed off about the last time we saw him? When the Bills got their asses handed to them by the Bengals. And if it is that, if it is that, as we're led to believe that maybe it is that, how did everybody let this fester the entire offseason only to have it explode into a national story on the first day of a mandatory minicamp? Like, why was that not addressed sooner? Like, what are we even doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What am I doing here? Like, what am I here for? If you knew that was an issue, why was that not addressed long before now? What are we doing here? Right, But nobody's really saying, right? So then Josh Allen was the next one to hit the podium yesterday, and he, he tried to make it better, but he didn't exactly clarify anything either. No, that's pretty clear. You freaking love this guy. You love him like a brother. It just doesn't seem like right now Steph feels as close to you or the rest of the fam as you feel as close to him. But then again, I don't really know. I don't know what he's mad about because he's not saying. I just know it's something. So again, what is it? Josh said it right there. It's not a football thing. Diggs' agent is saying, he's here. It's not a money thing. So, again, if it's not a football thing and it's not a money thing, what is going on? According to Josh, maybe it's a communication thing. I mean, the organization is not communicating the right way. What does that even mean? Just that the dude finished last season pissed off and that you guys ignored him for the last six months? Or is it something else? I mean, I could point to the cryptic tweets in the offseason, but he normally does that anyway. I don't know what it is. And I can't really speculate on what it is. I just know it's something. It's something, and it seems to me there are better ways to handle it than the way they're handling it. I'm not saying that he's right. I'm not saying the Bills are wrong or vice versa. I am saying this. Pretty much everybody looks bad here, and it looks like everybody could do a much better job of handling this than they're handling this. And before you try to run up in here and say, screw Diggs, screw this guy, typical wide receiver diva, pull this crap in Minnesota, pulling this crap in Buffalo, he needs to shut up and do his job. Before you do that, understand the reality is it's more complicated than that. You heard Josh Allen say it. We need this guy. And they already paid this guy. So they need to deal with whatever the problem is and hear him out. Because frankly, they really don't have a choice. Moving him is not a choice because they've got pretty much no shot at winning without him. They haven't won with him. How are they going to win without him? And then on top of that, given the money they gave him, the cap hit would kill them. So you don't just move this guy out. You're not going to trade this guy. And one more thing. Again, I don't know what it's about, but I do know this. There are different rules for different dudes. And by different, I mean difference makers, game changers. And Stefan Diggs is that. I'm not taking a side. I'm just stating the obvious. Different rules for different dudes, but don't take my take for it or take my word for it. Take it from Vaughn Miller, another different dude. He would know, and he said as much. I think he nailed it. I mean, he nailed it. You treat everybody with respect, but you cannot treat everybody the same way. And Stephon Diggs is a different dude, a different talent, and something set him off. And my point is, it it seems like it was something that he must have been carrying around the entire offseason. Why was this not addressed sooner? Are you going to tell me he just showed up pissed off out of nowhere? Did that just happen right then? No, that should have been addressed, whatever it was, earlier. Again, the team needs this guy. That's not debatable. They can't get where they want to go without this guy. So if he's not in a good way, you need to hear him out. I'm just really confused what he's this put out over. And his post on IG last night clarified nothing. Quote, I just be letting people cap. 
If them lies help you sleep better, tell them, big dog. Again, you know, I love it, kind of cryptic, but my man, who are you talking about? Who's capping? Who's lying? McDermott, Josh Allen, your agent, the media. I mean, my guy, just say it. Just say what you got to say, my dude. Why are you communicating in social media riddles? And maybe the Bills do need to do a better job of communicating. But you know what it looks like to me? It looks like everybody needs to do a better job of communicating. It kind of looks like y'all suck at communication, which is why we are where we are. Now, the good news is, Mafia, Vaughn does not seem all that concerned. Josh Allen seemed pretty confident that things would work themselves out. And we are in the middle of June, not say the middle of August. Week one is still months away. Not weeks away. Plenty of time to get this, whatever the hell this is, straightened out. But I will say it's a really strange start to a really critical season. And not exactly turning the page from that disappointing end of last season. Seems like more of a continuation. Seems like maintaining that same exact trajectory and vibe, which is not good. That's not what anybody wanted. You want to get beyond that. And that sure as hell not going to get this team beyond the Bengals or the Chiefs. So we have no idea exactly what's going on behind the scenes in Orchard Park right now. But it almost feels like Diggs blew into that facility this week, straight up channeling Rick in Buffalo vibes. Now you'll have to forgive me for my raspy voice, Jim. I spent all day at the stadium yesterday yelling at people, most notably Bill's offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey. This idiot calls plays like he's hammered, playing Super Tecmo Bowl at 3 in the morning. Okay, Josh, drop back, heave it as far as you can, and we'll pray for a miraculous leaping catch. Hey, Waldo, feel free to mix in a crossing route, well-designed screen, or anything else that doesn't take three years to develop. I called for McDermott's head after the playoff loss against KC, but now I'm demanding for it. And how in the hell does the head coach not grab every single DB by the face mask before that fourth and 18 prayer and scream, knock it down or pack your effing bags? Time for me to throw on the headset, Jim. I'll turn this damn thing around in a friggin' flash. The R.I.B. Rick and Buffalo, if you need him, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to be the first to know when we do upload a new video.